In this video, I'm going to be breaking down a very, very effective way to deal with five wide and spread in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player. And as I try to learn and become a better player at this game, I enjoy sharing with you things that I've learned along the way, different zones, different strategies, different zone drops, methods, all of those things. And so if you want to get the latest tips for how I would suggest that you improve in this game, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It is completely free. One other thing that I wanted to talk about before we dive too far into today's tips, and while we're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, and show you my coaching adjustments so that you can see them, um, is my text message membership. Now, this is something that I do completely for free, so it doesn't cost you any money. Literally, all it is is every single week, I sit down, and for about an hour, I talk about Madden. I share schemes. I share things that I'm learning. Um, it's it's kind of like a high-level Madden video every week. So, for example, in the past, I've done videos like the Big Nickel Over G. I've done videos on Trips Tied In, Bunch, Bunch Tied In, um, U Trips, you name it, right? Schemes, right? And so they're basically one-hour videos that are really, really in-depth. A lot of people say that they're just as good as a lot of people's paid eBooks. And so if you want to get those videos completely for free, all you have to do to get that is just text me. My number is in the top left hand corner of your screen. I obviously have um, paid ebooks as well for you available in the description if you want to support the channel or if you want to do a deep dive on a formation. That's more of what those are for. But the text message membership is completely for free. All you have to do is text me to sign up. Okay, guys, so I wanted to dive in today, and I wanted to talk, obviously you saw my zone drops are on 30, um, 10, and 5, and I wanted to talk specifically about two um, specific things that I think you're going to see a lot um, start to pop up, especially with the fact that the, the better um, people are getting better route runners, and they're just having more success against man-to-man -man coverage, and that is basically the uh the, the five wide or the spread um style of offenses and i wanted to talk a little bit about that in today's video so uh what we're going to do is i'm in the raiders playbook i've got the the empty trace stack this is one um of many spread formations but i want to talk to you um really about field coverage and about how to how to use this um i'm actually working on a, a, a defensive guide right now that is going to talk a lot about field coverage and and layout it's going to kind of expand on a lot of the things that we've been talking about for most of the season so first and foremost what i like to do is i like to go into that cover four show two out of the three three five wide it's my favorite defense in the game now the first thing that i like to do and this is just my personal opinion you could take it or leave it but whenever i play a spread set i almost always will base a line and the reason why is because i think that's going to help you a lot in terms of the fact that you can now, they don't know if you're going to be blitzing or not blitzing. Because what you'll notice here is, let's say I'm man aligned. Take a look at this defense. All right, or default, whatever you call it, default alignment. That's default. Now I want to show you Mike Blitz O. Now look at this. You see the alignment changes, right? Now look at um, cover two man. You'll see it'll change again. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. So what I would rather have is I want the defense to always look the same. So I'd rather have a baseline look. And I know that it causes a misalignment on the left side. I know that. I know that it causes issues on the right side because there's a now a, an advantage. I, I understand that. But I want you to hang with me because we're going we're gonna to dive into this stuff. The second thing that I like to do against spread sets, if you think about the routes that are within spread formations, there's not a ton of um, – there's there's – the, it's 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 all about spacing. It's not necessarily about. Um, it's not like you're going to have 15 crossing routes on the same play like you would from a compressed set. So the reason that that matters is because you can actually get away. I think with playing some cover two ish, um, some 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 different things like that. So um, what I, first thing is what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to figure out okay where you know where my where my where's my biggest thing that i need to handle with first so obviously what i like to do against spread is i like to spread my uh, defensive line the reason why is because I, I don't have to worry too much about the run from a five wide look now if they were if there's a running back in the backfield then i might want to shift my d line to the right okay or to the left to whichever side the running back is but if it's five wide i'm going to spread them 
Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I've got to identify, essentially, how do I want to defend this. And the way that I'm going to do that is through field spacing. One of the things that is really good and bad about spread is it's really good at spacing the field. The problem is, let's say, um, like this right side of the field, if I run this corner route to the right, I just want you to watch here. I'm going to run this corner route to the tight end. I want you to watch that corner. You see he can kind of play that. He doesn't always play it, but he can kind of play that. Um, that corner route's harder to fit in. Now, let me show you it. Now, let me flip the play. Okay, so we're just going to flip the same play. And now what we're going to do is we're going to essentially run a flood concept, right? We're going to run a flood concept to the left side. And now that same corner route that was a little bit problematic on the left is now wide open on the right, okay? That's because of alignment. That's because of field coverage. So when I play cover four, um, based on the field, based on the hash mark, I allow that to help me uh, identify what I want to do. So, for example, um, like in this situation here, based on the hash marks, I don't need to play cover four to the right, right? Um, I need to play cover two. The reason why is because I don't have to deal with the right inside hash mark, right? I can let that go. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into a cover two right quick. So you're going to see here I'm going to put the outside corner in a cloud flat. The left side corner is going, and then the right side safety is going to go into a deep half. At that point, you also need to figure out who do you want to man up. And I like to go ahead and simply take this, um, this guy right here, Redmond. I really like to man him up on whoever I think the problem is going to be. In this example, I think one of the slot receivers on the right is going to be the problem. So, like, if they run a four vertical concept up the ski, up the seam, right, where they basically take three receivers um, like this right here, the only person that's the problem is because of the spacing of the field is going to be Mercedes Lewis, right? If they did something like that, you see the problem is going to be really Mercedes Lewis. The other, the other guy should be taken away, okay? Now, if this was flipped, you know, you might want to – rethink that or whatever but but anyway that's kind of the starting point okay because you see here if they run something like this right here watch that cover two zone is not going to guard him but as you can see now the vertical is taken he's he's taken away okay so that's that's a little bit about that so that's the first step um that's that's the first step you know you're going to cover to the short side um is is one of the first things that i'm going to do against a spread look almost always i will cover to the short side of the field and then i will run a man coverage now the next thing is you've got to worry about flat routes i personally don't see a lot of people running flat routes to the short side meaning like let's say they put mercedes lewis on an out route or a whatever i'm not too worried about that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this guy um this slot right here kadir holman and instead of putting him in a flat zone, I'm going to put him in a vertical hook. Um, and the reason why is so that he can play curl routes, he can play drag routes, and things like that. So that's kind of the, the, the short side is, is really going to look more like a cover two. Now, the left side or the wide side of the formation is going to look a little bit more like a cover four um, in so much that you know I have to be a little bit more mindful of what the defense or what the offense can do. So... Because of that, I'm going to turn this almost into a Mabel coverage. So what you're going to see is you're going to see that this, this uh, linebacker is going to go into a flat zone. And then this, this uh, defensive end on the outside here is probably going to go into some type of seam flat or hook zone, right? One of the two. Normally, he's going to be in a seam flat, okay? And as you can see. This is kind of the vibe that we're going to give against this play. Now, what you'll notice is the route combination that um, they're going to employ here on this left side, this C route, you see that that flat is going to get back there and he's going to take that away. Now, to be fair to the offense, I want to show um, something else. And this is something that I think you're going to see out of this specific spread offense. And this is why I say um, I'm going to go back and I'm going to grab um, just a standard spread set. Because even though there's not a, a strong and a weak side, there definitely is if you actually think about how spread works. So uh, I'm going to come out in just like a standard spread. And I'm going um, to grab the double seams. And then I'm also going to grab, wish I had a corner route here, which is fine that I don't, uh, PA curl drag. 
So if you look at this corner route right here, you know, just imagine that it's one of those inverted ones. But what you're going to notice is most of the time, people are going to want to have the running back, in my opinion, to the wide side of the field. So you wouldn't want the running back on the short side because he can't be a threat in the flat. On the wide side, now you can run flood concepts to that side. So this is kind of what you're going to be stuck with. So as you build your defense, you notice um, a little bit here that unfortunately we're misaligned on the left side. Now remember, we were talking about this. We never, ever, ever run cover two to the wide side out of spread two by two. Why? Because of the fact that of this misalignment. So for example, let's say they did something like this. Because he's in an outside quarter, he's going to go get that streak every time. As you can see, he's going to take that and he's going to go guard it. Okay? Now, um, let's say he's in a cover two. Even though the cover two zone is – even though the cover two zone is um, – is at 30 yards, you're going to notice really, relatively quickly here that the safety, because we've based the line, he doesn't have the space to get over there, and that's an easy dot unless your safety has like 99 speed, okay? So that's the that's kind of the challenge that, that the spread offense creates for the defense. So that's why you never, ever, ever want to run cover two to the wide side of a spread set because you're going to run into issues like what I almost just ran into. So what you would rather do is you'd rather run a cover two to the left side, um, take that short side away. I'd throw a vert hook in there. Another thing you could do is you could you could um, you could even cross man this linebacker on the left side. Um, but basically, essentially, this is this right here is the defense in my opinion for gun spread. Um, the only thing I would do different is instead of quarter flats, I would want to have seam flats, and then I would definitely want to have a three wreck on the side of the running back. Now what this means is, let's say there's a corner route to that right side guy. So to get there, let me see if I can find. Um, let me just see if I can find like a standard corner route uh, from this. I don't know if I'll be able to. Maybe from bunch quads. Uh, I have the spot play. So I just want you to watch this corner route. So now quads would change the defense up a little bit, but I just want you to watch the corner route right here to the right side. What you're going to see is that corner route does get open. Okay. So that's coming back and saying, okay, so what would you do? How would you deal with that? Well, the same the same real way that I would deal with any flood concept, and that's simply to mable the coverage. Um, you're gonna you're gonna notice here that really what we could do is we could basically take both of these guys, uh, both these linebackers, and create essentially a mable coverage. So you see, you've got the seam flat. Now you would say, well, Cody, the the hitch route is open. Yeah, the hitch route is open, but you can go use or that. You know, you can go use or the hitch route. Um, you know, but this, this right here, uh, now all of a sudden, you know, you can't throw that as well. Um, as you see, Jair gets out there. Another thing that I think is really important, um, when you're talking about defending the gun spread, especially, you know, in a situation like this where you can tell, I mean, you can tell there's alignment problems. Um, I think it's really, really important to go ahead and and shade coverage down, shade coverage up, that's going to help the zones a lot. The zones are going to play differently. Um, they're going to play better, in my opinion, uh, than they will. If you don't do that, you're going you're gonna to have a lot more success. So, again, you're going to mable that side just like this. If you wanted to roll it into a cover three, you could certainly do that as well. But I just would tell you, from my experience, it works better if you do it like this. Um, and, and you'll find a lot more success. Now, yeah, is there still a way to beat it? Yeah, of course there's a way to beat it. But you're going to find a lot more success on that corner route with that zone drop in that situation. Another thing that I like to do is utilize the Mike Blitz 3. So um, what you'll see out of a Mike Blitz 3 is kind of the same thing but a little bit different. So um, – I would, I would, I would still say that you want to basically Mabel both sides, and then you're just going to do that. Mabel coverage against against spread actually works relatively well. The one issue with it is is the slot streak on the spread side. So that's where I would take this corner on the right, and I would put him in a deep half zone. That's going to help him kind of split the difference. And then you'll see, like, let's say they run a streak to the slot here. Now they can't, I mean, they can't throw that. There's not a window for them to be able to get the ball off. 
because they can't throw it. They can't just pass lead it to the right. Now you've got a player in that vicinity. So this is just a little bit about gun spread. There's a ton of it in our ebook, um, but rolling the coverage does to me also make a lot of sense against spread. Um, essentially, rolling the coverage to the wide side of the field using um, you know using deep halves and using these seam flats will certainly help because you'll see here. Let's say they're running four verticals. Um, if I try to throw this streak right up the seam, you know, it's kind of there. So as my that's kind of my user responsibility. Another thing that I'll say, and this will probably be the last thing that I, I share about this defense real quick, another little simple thing that you can do, and I know it say, seems relatively elementary, but if you think about it, it's really good for spread, um, is just manning up the linebacker on the inside guy. That's going to, because you think about it, it's going to take away the flat route. It's going to take away the other other stuff. Now all you've got to really worry about, and this is where I would use some man coverage as well against the gun spread, but now you just have to worry something about this right here. So now everything on the right side is taken away. You just have to worry about that left side. You know, what could they do on the left side? Could they, you know, even, and, and that's where, honestly, you don't even need that that hard flat. You just need that to the wide side. I'd throw a yellow zone out there, and now you're going to see the verticals are all taken away all across the board. They try to throw it, and you've basically split the field. So that's a little bit um, about the gun spread defense. I think there's a lot more to come on that. I think you're going to see people going back to the spread. I myself have thought about it. Um, the gun spread is hard to stop, especially with the fact that now you have really good routes and really good route runners to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage. This becomes a very difficult defense to, or offense to deal with. So this is kind of my initial answer to the questions I've been getting about five wide and about gun spread. Roll the coverage to the wide side of the field. Um, that's what I would do. But, but anyways, thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And again, if you want to get the full defensive ebook, that will help you a ton as well. We show you, I think we show you how to defend spread in there. We show you how to defend a lot of formations. Um, but that 335 wide ebook is available in the description. If you want to get our text message membership, there's a free sample of the ebook in the text membership. And the text membership is completely for free for you. Um, and that's about an hour long free sample of the 335 wide defense, which in my opinion, and I think a lot of people would agree with me, is just the best defense in the game. Um, it's the best defense and it, and it will continue to be the best defense in my opinion. So uh, if you want the best defense, that's what I would do. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, just text me again. My whole goal here is to help you become better players. And so um, if I'm ever not able to help you or anything, just you know, hit, reach out to me. If you have deeper questions, more questions, you can always hit me up via text message. Thanks for your time today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. And let me know um, in, the, in the text message if you need anything or if you'd like those sample, uh, sample ebooks.